Visualisation is important for professional and elite athletes. Do you use visualisation on a regular basis? Absolutely. I use visualisation um, all the time in training and uh, probably most, my most um, prominent time is uh, during preparation or leading up to a game and preparing for a game. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the routine for probably 10 years now. Wow. 10 years. And, uh, that's where I really started to see changes in my game uh, and my approach to the game. My mindset, I was calm, I was relaxed, um, I knew exactly what to do, and uh, that's just the confidence I got out of it. So basically uh, spending half an hour uh, while I'm stretching, visualizing exactly what I want done, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I get really emotional about it, and, and that's mm -hmm. my uh, every, every game day I do that. So I spend about half an hour doing it. So be specific with us. What, what, what would you go through before a game? Specific sort of detail? Yeah. Like, yeah. So Could you elaborate? To go into detail about exactly what it is I see. Um, for example, I'll have and one I'll have often in my uh, my list to visualise will be, um, you know, I run strong, I run through a line, I power through a line. So I'll simply sit there while I'm stretching. I'll, I'll see the line that I want to visualise, and I'll close my eyes and I'll just I'll literally see myself busting through a brick wall, and oh. throwing people left, right, and you know all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, that applies to all the different skills and, and uh, things that I want to achieve during a game. Whether passing? Be, would you? Passing, absolutely. Sharp passing, sharp catching, yeah. all of that? Yeah, I'll, I'll imagine it. So for passing, I would imagine a, uh, a target. A target and it's just moving across the person that I want to hit and then I'm just nailing it every time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, you know, the important thing about the visualisation is you see exactly as you want it. Mm -hmm. And, and tell me, for the people who have never start, who have never done any visualisation, how would you suggest that they start? Yeah, that's a, a good question. I've always been a, um, I guess, someone who's big on pictures and uh, you know mental imagery. So naturally, I've been able to uh, do it ever since I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, but I understand that there are people that uh, mm -hmm. that aren't very good with pictures, mental imagery. That rather words, for example, a, a good teammate of mine, he was more about words. And, if that's if that's what um, I guess if that's your way of communicating, then mm -hmm. you, you, you probably have to figure out your own um, mm -hmm. your own routine and what works best for you. Have you noticed that your visualizations improved the more you've practiced? Absolutely. Um, anywhere from the actual pictures to getting in the mindset to start as well, because often um, there can be a lot of things going on in your mind, and it's hard to to even see a picture that you want. Mm -hmm. simply because there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, just that in itself is a bit of an art, just learning to, to calm down, clear the mind. Breathing? Breathing, Is that yep. important? Calm breathing? breathing? Breathing's part of it, physically relaxing your entire body. Yep. Um, and then just getting into a calm place. Um, I used to have this, um, I still have it, a uh, place that I uh, created on the beach where I'd go to sometimes. Yep. So that would that would get me into that space. Power place right. of calmness. That's right. It was absolutely calm. It was relaxing. It was enjoyable. Do you, it was all have fun. you noticed that you've got better over, over the, the more recent years even because you're a little more mature now as an athlete? Definitely, yeah. And, and then I've, I've gone through different phases where um, I guess um, I've built on different areas. Mm -hmm. um, I can quickly get into states of mind better. Mm -hmm. I'm able to brush mistakes quicker, yep. so that's all developed over time. And mm -hmm. uh, I guess whatever stage you're at, you know, there's always somewhere further you can go, which, okay. is, which is where I'm always trying to, trying to go. As well. And it's still part of your daily routine and, and game day? Definitely. Every training session, if I make a mistake, same thing. I'll stop, I'll visualise what I wanted to happen, and then I'll put it into practice, and I'll always reinforce the, uh, the good stuff. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sammy Perrett.